James. Oh. And what do you think? I feel like maybe if Smash or Game 4 just opted to go Mario, it might have been a different set, honestly. Maybe, yeah. But now we that's a different set. That's a different story. We have Try Hard Train and uh, I almost said Eureka. Daybreak playing Daybreak. against each other. Daybreak, man. This guy has been going hard in the paint with Cloud recently. Yeah, I think uh, I think Try Hard Train actually beat uh, um, excuse me, uh, Ducks to get here. Yeah, I saw them playing uh, off stream. Off stream a little. He early. actually also beat Constable Lemon to get to this that's point. That's true. As well, so. He did. So good stuff to Try Hard Train. In like a 70-30 matchup. Let's see how this match is gonna go. Yeah. I feel like Try Hard Train's best friend on this on this stage uh, is gonna be that. It's gonna be that platform. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, like, Cloud is just so good at getting around Robin's like pretty much her entire kit. Mm -hmm. And something that I really like about Daybreak Cloud is that he is not a fan of that platform at all. You would definitely see players like Maloney just hold onto this platform, make it his home, you know, feel comfortable, charge limit. But Daybreak, he doesn't do that at all. You know, he just kind of gets this kind of method of. Uh, like chip charging. Yeah, you know, he's letting, every now and then. Like he's letting Try Hard Train have that home, and he's invading it. Right, because Shark er, uh, Cloud does have those opportunities and the tools to shark uh, that platform. So Daybreak's more than comfortable than just giving that pressure onto Try Hard Train whenever he tries to charge any Ooh, of his throws. Wow, catching the landing with that back air actually has to use limit and Try Hard Train going low. Oh, Ooh, yep, well the regrab punish real quick with that Buster Sword. Yeah, there's not really too much like on stage options that Cloud can do to punish the landing, but uh, that down air was perfect. Oh, for sure. And we see Tryhard Train trying to go out there with his Levin Sword. Ooh. Uh, just charging through the dash attack, not letting Tryhard Train set up at all. Oh, and what a great roll read right there from Daybreak. Yeah, I actually, love Daybreak's movement with Cloud. You'd, you'd think that a Falcon main wouldn't have that great of movement, but man, you give him you give him a top tier and he'll he'll work wonders with it. Oh, going for this down air again, but like there's not really much uh, try hard trade you can do to avoid it. And that is check checkmate. Percent. Yeah. Always had to keep that in mind. There's a lot like despite like being able to kind of uh, oppress Robin, there's a lot of things Ooh. that you have to keep in mind, but try hard train needs to keep in mind that Robin's recovery it has no booty hitbox. cheeks. Yes. Straight up booty cheeks. And that's just rough, you know, that's just the life of a Robin maid. But shout outs to Try Hard Train for having that kind of awareness. You know, you if you really put yourself in the shoes of a Robin maid, they have to think about how much L1 they have left in their book, if they charge Thoron yet, if uh you know, if they have Levin Sword, if the Levin Sword's yeah, going away the, soon. The Levin Sword's definitely a big thing. And matchup. also he has to like keep keep track of percentages as well. So if, if he can go for kill confirms or not. It's a lot on your plate, but looks like Try Hard Train can manage. Hopefully he's gonna be able to give Daybreak more of a more some some more trouble in this next game. Yeah, I think a big uh, thing is like Daybreak takes the most damage when he is like approaching Try Hard Train, when Try Hard Train has any kind of advantage. Because he's able to actually outspace with that forward <laughs> oh, air. No. Oh no. Daybreak trying to just give him a quick forward air. Yeah. But it's, it's actually gonna cause his death. Alright, yeah, and now it is on Daybreak to to really approach here, but he's got to do it carefully because Robin can wall out Cloud. Oh, and that Nosferatu. When you shield so much against a character like Robin, that command grab actually can come through. Oh, for sure. If Try Hard Train can catch you holding your shield, it's going to be really easy for him to throw out that Nosferatu. And also, Robins eat it up whenever you shield against someone that's throwing projectiles. That's yeah. all they want. They don't want the projectile to hit. They want the grab to connect. Yeah, and not only that, but they can actually bounce their uh, like items off your shield and mm -hmm. re-catch them. Continuing the pressure. Yeah, man, that's uh, that's the tune link. That's a tune link kind of method right there. Ooh, Ooh throw onto the nose for Atu. He yeah. realized that he couldn't get the grab, so he actually went up there for the command grab. That was super smart from Try Hard Train. Yeah, and he locked him in with the Arc Thunder. All right. Yeah, in this awkward spot where Daybreak has to like approach, it's giving Try Hard Train all the opportunities. Oh no, right there, Daybreak going for it all, just wasting his limit for his limit cross slash. Oh, but Daybreak sneaking around Try Hard Train's option. And that's the three ways that Daybreak has killed uh, Try Hard Train, just from down air. All right, our fire at the ledge. Cloud actually being low enough to not get flipped by it. Oh, and right now one of those forward airs and up airs look very scary for Daybreak. So Daybreak's just gonna stay back. Pull out that limit. Yeah, he's definitely a checkmate percent mm -hmm. too. For right now, the lemon sword is finally on deck. Yep. There's that grab, checkmate. Yeah, when don't you hold get, shield, man. You got to jump around that. The, that's the thing, like with the arc thunder, is like you have to put yourself in a position where you can avoid it, not right. shield it. You have to avoid it. You have to be able to jump around it because Robin moves so slow. The only way she, she and he are slow as yeah. molasses. So if they're able to throw out an arc thunder and lock you in shield. 
that's the perfect time for them to get the grab. Yeah, that's pretty much. Saying. Yeah, that's the main way that they can right. get grabbed. It's not so easy for them to like run up to you and grab you. Or try like to pivot, pivot grab. grab. Yeah. Or like tomahawk. Like it's it's awkward. It's really hard. If you ever see you know a Robin short hopping at you, they're definitely not gonna go for a tomahawk. But they're probably just gonna go for a forward air. Yeah. Oh, speaking of forward airs, Daybreak just busting through them with his mm. Buster Sword dash attack. Right, keeping Robin at the ledge. Ooh, but the like that turnaround. Yeah, yeah, Robin actually heals more off the Nosferatu if you hit if uh, she grabs you by the back. Okay. Not I mean, like it didn't really matter too much with like how low percent they were, but but it's something to keep in mind whenever it comes to those high percent situations. Okay, up airs. Ooh, and this is gonna extend a lot. Yeah. Oh, but Daybreak missing uh, the landing, but does catch the cross slash. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly where Daybreak wants uh, Tryhard train. What? Yeah. Wow. Oh, but, but the tech. tech. Yeah. Good stuff from Tryhard Train. I mean, like, he pretty much, like, had a giant billboard saying, hey, you're going to need to tech this one. Yeah. Oh, these jabs. Anime. Yeah, those jabs are the same frame, I, I believe, mm. frame four. There's the upper just calling out Daybreak, trying to run around these platforms. Oh, wow. But the chase out there, I love how Daybreak is able to just follow you wherever you are in the air. Cloud's back air just like frame trapped into Cloud's back air. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a little upset. Welcome to DLC, dog. Wow, he just slid right under that arc. <laughs> arc <laughs> he was fire. sliding right into the DMs. He said, hey, what up? Oh, he went immediately for it. I'm not sure if he that didn't was need intentional. It. That was, that was, a, it was a message. Right, but. Uh, I like how Daybreak, he's aware enough to know to jump out of that uh, three piece jab. Wow, and again, going for this. Uh, I feel like the ledges on Lilat are just like perfect for those downers. Yeah, yeah, perfect for Cloud and just bad for Robin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Robin has to be very precise. Oh, wow, okay. Making it out of the arc fire still. Oh, it's oh just a and the four on, but that's going to oh, actually no. kill Tryhard Train right there. I think that was a misinput. Yeah, going a little bit too low. The thing with Lilat is it actually has the lowest like bottom blast zone in yep. the game, so. Maybe he, he didn't anticipate that. Like maybe on a bigger stage, he might have been able to. He would have been able. Cover. Yeah, he would have definitely been able to just up the back on the stage if he had the time. But unfortunately, the end leg was too much for him. Ended up falling into the last zone. Daybreak's feeling pretty good, and we're gonna run into Battlefield for the uh, game three. Yeah, risky uh, pick considering how much Cloud loves Battlefield if he gets uh, Robin a disadvantage. But yeah. It's going to give Robin some interesting opportunities to utilize your projectiles. We definitely saw what kind of damage Daybreak could do whenever he was on Lilat. Let's see what kind of damage he can do on a stage that Cloud really likes, and that's Battlefield. Also, it's going to be a little bit easier for Daybreak to get around these projectiles. As we saw whenever King James went, against, went up against Smasher, took him to Battlefield because those platforms are just another avenue to get towards the character. Ooh, just doing the normal get up into the, uh, the arc fire. It's always awkward when Robin's just throwing those arc fires at the ledge. I really like this uh, this kind of pressure Daybreak's able to put on to try hard train whenever he has him on ledge. Like we saw that run away to come back and dash attack, kind of tripping up try hard train whenever he's trying to get back on the stage. Well, speaking of tripping up Daybreak, going for that cross slash. Oh, and the ledge trump Ooh. catches the back air. Oh, oh no, but he actually bumped his head on battlefield, oh, restricting no, yeah. the the altitude that he could have gotten with that up B. Oh, and speaking of altitude. Oh, oh no! no! What a great rebuttal right there from Tryhard Train. We saw that happen in game two. I, I was going to say, Daybreak went for the forward air spike, yeah. but actually put himself in a weird position to get hit by the, like, Elwin spike. Hopefully third time's the charm, and Daybreak realizes he shouldn't be going for that forward air at such low percent. Okay. <laughs> wow, he just sunk right down and got that up air. A lot of good damage here. It's kind of funny how Tryhard Train, you know, he makes sure he's looking at the percents whenever he goes for kill confirms. But Daybreak looks like he's never going for the percentage whenever he goes with that forward air. Oh, wow, going for it all oh, there. Oh, no, that's a gimp. Yeah, it actually is. Mm -hmm, that's it. Oh, hello? Wait, he saved him. Oh, what's going on, Gucci? He definitely <laughs> saved him with that forward air because yeah. the forward air sent him so high he had enough, like... And the Levin Sword also keeping him in there as well. That's actually ridiculous right there for Tryhard Train. Yeah, he probably should have recognized oh. that situation. Oh, so he, wanted, he wanted something nasty there. Mm -hmm. he, he wanted something real stuff. nasty. Change. He said, I'm not done with you yet. That's why he kept him on stage. But the, oh, I don't want to say that's it. Just, it's not, not it. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's wow, it. Yes. yes. That sword going right through the lip on Battlefield's edge. We saw so and many times Daybreak going for it, but he finally just got the timing right. Going to take it 3-1 over Tryhard Train. But shout out to Tryhard Train, man. He had some good, he's had some cool stuff in his pocket. Yeah, that's that so cool unfortunate because that dare sent him at such an awkward, like, horizontal angle. Like, even right. if you don't get the spike, it sends it.